check this out. So worldpopulationreview.com has put a chart together showing the population growth that Forney has been experiencing. You can see that there was definitely some growth between the year 2000 and the year 2010, but once 2017 hit, Forney's population almost doubled itself just within five years. So with all of that growth, of course, there are going to be some growing pains, like the traffic here can be ridiculous during rush hour times. The other factor that comes into play when the growth of a city is exploding is of course crime. So with that information, I made a video on the five best and the five worst neighborhoods within Forney. And all of this is based on just feedback that I have received from people living in Forney and what they think. In this video in particular, I'm just gonna go over the five worst, okay? So if you wanna know the five best neighborhoods, then you can watch that video right after this one. So I do want to point out before we continue on that according to crimegrade.org, Forney was actually rated A minus as far as the crime goes, and that puts them within the 84th percentile for safety, meaning that there are only 16% of cities that are safer than Forney across the entire United States. So overall, Forney is still a pretty safe area. It's just going to have its, you know, pockets of crime. It comes with most cities, right? Okay, now let's go towards some neighborhoods. I'm going to start at number five and then work our way up to the number one worst neighborhood in Forney. Also, if you're not too sure where Forney is, it sits about 20 miles east of Dallas. So driving distance is anywhere from 25 to 35 minutes, depending on the traffic. Okay, number five on the list, Mustang Creek. So I'm going to be honest with you guys. I really had to stretch on this one because Mustang Creek really isn't that bad of a neighborhood. But in perspective of some of the other neighborhoods within Forney, this one is kind of just okay. So if you live in Mustang Creek and completely disagree with me on this, do not be afraid to let me know in the comments. So two reasons I included this neighborhood in one of the five worst within Forney is for one, because it's kind of a more established neighborhood for Forney with the homes being built around the early 2000s. And it's also because of its close proximity to the city. So it's just, you know, kind of convenient for people to just kind of like run in and out. The worst kind of crime that you can really experience within this neighborhood is probably more along the lines of like car thefts, maybe some robberies, but I really haven't heard of anything much worse than that happening within this neighborhood. Now, if you are curious, the price point of this neighborhood starts around 250,000 and it can go all the way up to 350,000. So it sits roughly around the median price point for 40. And it's still a pretty decent neighborhood, so please don't let this discourage you if this is an area you're looking at. It's also conveniently located being just a mile away from Highway 80. Okay, so that's enough about number five with Mustang Creek. Let's now get into number four. And oh yeah, have I mentioned how bad the traffic can get here at times? If you want more details on the traffic here, go watch my video titled Don't Move to Forney. And I actually sit in traffic while I go over pros and cons of Forney. So that way you can really get a good feel for how it is. So our number four for our worst neighborhoods in Forney is Trinity Crossing. So Trinity Crossing is somewhat of a newer neighborhood. It was established around 2019 and it's kind of divided into two different types of sections with different style homes. You've got some that are uh, built with brick and then you've got some that are built with wood siding. And the price point of this neighborhood, you're looking at around 200,000 all the way up to the mid 300, so about 350,000. And the crime here, so again, it's really not too terrible. You definitely have some thefts and robberies and um, some possessions of a variety of different things, but I really haven't heard of much else other than that. The main reason I really included this one is because it does get, of course, some of those crimes, but it also is in close proximity to a couple of neighborhoods that I'm about to mention where the crime is really picking up. So that leads us to our number three, and our number three worst neighborhoods in Forney is, I'm sorry, Clements Ranch. 
So Clements Ranch really is a nice neighborhood, but I included it again because of its proximity to another neighborhood that's on this list that I haven't mentioned yet. Um, but also the crime has really been picking up lately over the past year or two, um, and it's not going unnoticed. So of course you have your typical car thefts, robberies, uh, possession of firearms, but there have also been some shootings and even a recent murder. The price range of this neighborhood is between three and four hundred thousand, and they are actually still building to this day, but I think they're close to selling out. It's a little farther outside of the heart of Forney, so the nearest grocery store is about five miles, but depending on what time of day you try to get to this grocery store, if you catch the rush hour traffic, it could take you anywhere from 15 to 20 minutes to get there. All right, so let's now get to our number two for our worst neighborhoods in Forney, and that number two goes to Travis Ranch. So Travis Ranch is a freaking massive neighborhood. It's huge. It's very easy to get lost inside of Travis Ranch. And believe it or not, even with its size, they are still building more today. Uh, the original uh, older side of Travis Ranch was established around 2005. And of course, like I said, they're still building to this day. So you've got a mixture of a little bit older, more established homes. Um, and then of course, some newer homes as well. So our starting price point to get into Travis Ranch is about 250,000. But that can actually go up to all the way, it can actually go up all the way to $600,000 if you want a newer, larger home. All right, so for crime, it's not great. Uh, you still have your, your typical stuff like your, your car thefts, your robberies. Um, there's also been some shootings and there's also been some murders that have happened here. Now, if you really compare um, the crime that happens in this neighborhood uh, to other neighborhoods within Dallas, it really doesn't compare, right? It's, it's not really as bad as some other areas are, but when you have the little crime that has taken place in Forney, and now all of a sudden Forney is kind of hearing about these shootings and stabbings and things that are going on, it's it's kind of frightening, right? Forney's like, what happened to my small little town? So again, that's why I kind of say it's, it's a mix. I mean, there are some crimes happening for sure, but it's also a mix of just some growing pains. Okay, so now before we get into our number five for worst neighborhoods in Forney, I do want to mention that if you are looking for a local real estate agent to either move to Forney or get out of Forney, just fill out my form in the details below. And of course, if you want to like or subscribe to my channel, that would be great too. Okay, so our number five for our worst neighborhood in Forney is Windmill Farms. I am sorry for anybody that lives in Windmill Farms. Again, like I said, if you completely disagree with me, let me know. All right, now I know I mentioned how massively large Travis Ranch is. Well, Windmill Farms is even bigger. It's so massive that I doubt anybody that has lived there since it was originally established, I doubt that they could even figure out how to get around without using a GPS. It's that big. And it's still growing. They're still building homes to this day. And while it keeps growing, it'll probably eventually turn into its own city. The price point for this neighborhood, you can get in around 250000 for some of the more established homes that were built when the neighborhood was established in the early 2000s. And if you're looking for a newer home within this neighborhood, that price point goes up all the way to four hundred and fifty thousand dollars all right so the crime in this neighborhood like all the other neighborhoods you've still got your car thefts your robberies um your possessions you've also got um some domestic violence um of course some shootings and some stabbings and with that comes some murders as well, unfortunately. And I don't want it to sound like this is like a daily occurrence within this neighborhood, but it is enough to where people in Forney are talking about it. And anybody in Forney, I can't imagine they would disagree with me on the fact that this should be placed as the worst neighborhood in Forney. So I'm sorry if I offended anybody on this. I'm just trying to be informative and helpful. So if you disagree, 
please do not hesitate to let me know in the comments because I want to make sure that my information stays up to date and it's informative and correct.